Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. We're here once again with the proud Empire, Volkmar the Grim, gonna be leading the Sigmar's sons against the foul greenskin hordes. So let's get straight to it. This replay is submitted by my good friend Rydist, so let's get it rolling. We've got four pistoliers up front, definitely approved, with one Outrider grenade launcher. We've got a Bright Wizard on a horse. Four Empire Knights, the Sigmar Sons, and some additional Swords Men, with a single Witch Hunter and Volkmar up on his wagon. He's up against Slade X, playing the Greenskins, so definitely got his work cut out for him here. We've got Warlords Boys up front, Crimson Killers, the Eight Peak Loonies, Goblins out of the flanks, and a whole bunch of Daka Boys. We've got five, count them, five Orc Error Boys with the Rusty Errors. More goblins out to the flanks. We've got uh, Boar Biggins, Broken Tusk Mob, and two Spider Riders. With uh, uh, Night Goblin Warboss on foot leading the way, nice and cheap. He's got Tormentor Sword and Wah. We've also got the Night Goblin Shaman. Looks like he's going to be vindictive wearing various things. So yeah, right off the bat, the Riders pulling up into range and just doing some initial, initial harass. Uh, you can see that volley did quite a bit of damage to those Warlords boys, but those, uh, obviously those uh, grenade launchers don't want to stay in range of the Orc bows for too long if they can help it. But uh, the Pistoliers are kind of moving around, trying to get into a good position to start firing on various units, maybe start uh, pulling some of these lighter greenskin cavalry away from their protection position. But uh, certainly the Rusty Arrows are able to provide some counterfire here, and just with all the boys, uh, Rydus is going to go ahead and choose to uh, advance his uh, his forces here. And the Pistolier is just sort of circling, you know, circling the water like uh, hungry sharks. Not really wanting to get too involved at the moment, but just looking for opportunities to pounce. The swordsmen slowly making their way forward here, and we've got a few more rogue grenades loosed. Looks like they didn't actually make contact with that unit of gobbos, but oh, there we go. Blew up a couple gobbos there. Vindictive Glare looks like it's going after Witch Hunter. Not going to do too much damage to the Witch Hunter, but we will do a little bit, especially given enough time. So the Empire player definitely wants to uh, try and get this rolling here if he can, but we'll see. We'll see. Very patiently uh, keeping his missile cavalry in reserve as the rest of the forces advance here. And here come these swordsmen. They're going to take uh, some heat, take some of the shots as they uh, advance here. Warlord's boy is going to come straight in here, or what, yeah, Warlord boys, just straight in, the, straight up the pipe. Volkmar's gonna have to be a little bit careful, all this Daka will do quite a bit of damage, again, Orc Air boys do have really solid AP values, but very nice grenade launcher use there, just blows up a whole bunch of those uh, AP loonies here. Empire line is pulling back slightly in the front, just trying to kite out a little bit. The Witch Hunter is loosing shots into the Crimson Kill, has already taken one down, and the Empire Knights getting charges across the board here, charging out some Gobbos. Uh, the Pistoliers are moving around into the back line, pulling away these Spider Riders, and then allowing the other Pistoliers to move in and start to uh, interrupt the the uh, bow fire there from the Orcs. But here comes Volkmar, going to call down a Banishment right in the center on top of those Goblins. He's taking a ton of Overwatch fire right now, though. It's a lot, a lot of damage. Granted, that Banishment did just pretty much finish off those two units of Goblins. I mean, granted, the AP Gloonies are unbreakable, so you will need to actually break them the old-fashioned way, but Empire Knights coming in, you can see the uh, Pistoliers going to get a little bit of a disruption here on a lot of these missile units, and the Banishment actually came back and did a ton of damage to those Rusty Errors, likewise Flamestorm in the back line, uh, ripped through some more of the Orc Air Boys, probably an overcast Flamestorm, we'll see if that decides to come back towards the uh, center of the battlefield a little bit, but again, Pistoliers very cost-effectively leading those uh, Spider Riders on a wild goose chase, shooting them as they do, and then here come the Empire Knights charging up the center, they found a gap, they're going to charge into these Orc Air Boys and just do a ton of very cost-effective damage. Orc Air Boys don't have much armor or melee defense, so they will get uh, walloped by that charge there, absolutely. Meanwhile, over here, we've got Pistoliers pouring fire into the back. These Broken Tusk Mob have done a ton of damage to another unit of Pistoliers, but you can see in the front line, things are not looking great. Orc Boar Boy Biggins have tied up Volkmar. A lot of the infantry for the Empire is suffering. Uh, the Sigmar Sun's still holding out, of course, because they are unbreakable, but very nice use of the grenade launchers there, going after those Orc Error Boys. Meanwhile, Empire Knights slugging it out with the Crimson Killers. They're probably staying their welcome a little bit too long here. Now they're going to come rear charge these Broken Tusk Mob, try and bail out Volkmar. Volkmar is desperately trying to hold on here. 450 hit points, really not looking great at the moment. But this Night Goblin Shaman is somehow also involved 
in that combat. Looks like Volkmar, uh, we'll see, is he going to go down here? Gork will fix it, fixing his speed into place. He's down only 30 HP, just a couple more swings, and he goes down. So Volkmar falls. That's going to be a pretty big blow to the Empire. You can see immediately those Empire Knights want to rout. Uh, that being said, there are still plenty of mobile uh, mobile hit units for the Empire. We've still got plenty of he healthy Empire Knights here and here. Plenty of Pistoliers as well, who are currently just cheekily shooting these uh, <laughs> Boar Boy Biggins in the side. Those are actually the Broken Tusk Mob with 90 armor. It won't take a whole lot of damage there, but it will be something. Meanwhile, Vindictive Glare doesn't make super... Super good contact on the Bright Wizard. Actually, on the Barded Warhorse, to give a little bit of extra armor against that Vindictive Glare, which is probably a good choice. But a little bit of a misplay there by the uh, Grenade Launchers. They're trying to launch at these backline gobbles, but they run into the Crimson Killers and just end up getting mopped up. We do still have some additional swordsmen over here as well. They're chasing some goblins, just mopping them up. The Empire Knights mopping up a lot of the tattered units over on this side. So the Empire, despite the loss of their leader, uh, doing quite well here. A nice rear charge by these Pistoliers, trying to help finish off the leadership of the Broken Tusk Mob as the Empire Knights pull away. Look like they charge those goblins coming into support. But yeah, the rear charge is enough to break off the Broken Tusk Mob there. Uh, these uh, Orc Boys... Orc Air Boys providing some nice overwatch fire. The Pistolier is going to switch targets and come interrupt them. They probably won't last a long time, but the Empire Knights here get a little bit shaky on their leadership. We do still have more uh, Orc Boar Boy Biggins over here being accused of heresy over here. Pistolier is caught on the edge of the map by the Spider Riders, but have done a ton of damage to them. And uh, this is another very cost-effective use of the Pistoliers, which is to chase routing units. You can chase these routing uh, Greenskin Bowmen, not allow them to come back. You can see the balance of power has shifted in the favor of the Empire, despite the loss of leadership there, a nice fireball going to make good contact with that Night Goblin War Boss. And now that he's caught out in the open without much support, it's going to be tough. Broken Tusk Mob get a good charge into Empire Knights here, but immediately another unit of Empire Knights following up from the other side is going to just shatter them. All of the Empire Knights here, actually three units, I should say, all together now. Going to start to form a little bit of a Cav Death Blob in the late game here. There's really just the Crimson Killers and, the go and uh, some Goblins left. Goblin leadership as well, that war boss getting pretty low. So, uh, yeah, here come the Empire Knights charging one more time into this group of Orc Air Boys. And that's pretty much the tail of the tape there. With the balance of power being so heavily tilted, Slade is going to go ahead and admit defeat. And that will be victory for the Empire. Very well played to both players. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that one. Two very high level players duking it out with some of their best factions. And, uh, yeah, it was. A very intense match. Volkmar, 118 kills, but got a little bit over-aggressive, took a ton of damage from those Air Boys, and it ended up getting taken down. Now, Orc Air Boys have good AP values, and with the armor sundering of the Rusty Airs, they can do even more damage, and definitely showed here. 69 kills on the Bright Wizard, though. Not too bad at all. That Flamestorm doing pretty decently. 42 kills for the Witch Hunter. Uh, Swordsman across the line, 110 here. Not bad at all. And the Empire Knights, man, 106 207 kills, and somehow they did not get an XP chevron. I don't know what, I guess it was just 207 goblins, but man, that's that's an impressive kill total considering they did not pick up an XP chevron. They were probably very, very close. But uh, likewise, Pistoliers, 72 kills on Pistoliers, not bad at all. 79 on these Outriders with, with grenade launchers. For Slade X's forces, obviously the Orc Air Boys were able to clean up quite a few kills. 46 kills. I believe they started with two XP chevrons. They might have started with three. Um, but regardless, they were able to get some good work done, just not quite enough to finish off all the Empire Knights. The Bowmen were able to take down uh, Volkmar, but at the end of the day, kind of got blown up by various different things. You know, charged by Knights, blown up by Blasting Charges, uh, Flamestormed, Banished, you know. Uh, Raidus definitely using all the tools at his disposal to take down this fat green skin bowline. Crimson Killers probably weren't super cost effective at the end of the day. They will mop up pretty much all Empire infantry, but uh, again, the shock damage and the magic, I mean, I guess they did hang around until the late game. You can't really ask for more, but uh, yeah, the Goblins did decently. Unfortunately, again, it just wasn't quite enough at the end of the day. The Pistoliers, the uh, overwhelming mobility for the Empire, you know, leading the, the Spider Riders away from the fight, uh, using the Pistoliers to disrupt the missile line, then using the Empire Knights to just clean up. The mobility of the Empire definitely won the day, I would say, in that particular engagement. But a very fun battle nonetheless. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. So every time I upload a new sweet Warhammer 
Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Report, you'll be notified. I'm going to keep it coming with as much content as I can. Uh, we'll see. I hopefully won't miss any days uh, within the next couple weeks. The, a lot of these videos you guys have been seeing have been pre-recorded just because my time to record has been a little bit restricted over the past little while. So hopefully we won't miss any days. I'm not sure 100% when this is coming out. But nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.